Here's part two showing how we raised our yurt in the Pacific Northwest. The yurt was delivered in these huge crates on a flatbed trailer. They were so heavy. We started by building a custom scaffolding to make sure we could reach the top of the yurt. Meanwhile, we unpacked the crates and started putting everything together. There was so much hardware to install. Thankfully, we had tons of help from a huge party of family. One of the most exhilarating moments was watching this door frame go up. Everything was starting. Then we put up window number one and the extremely heavy window number two. You'll notice extremely heavy becomes a pattern. Next, we raised and stretched out the lattice walls, fastening them to the platform. This part was so satisfying and fun to do. Once the walls were up, we installed the perimeter cable, which believe it or not, is all that holds up the entire roof. Then we brought the center ring to the top of the scaffolding to prepare to install the rafters. Installing the rafters was honestly the scariest part. You have to insert one side of the rafter into the center ring while it's held up by a couple of people, and then put the other side on the perimeter cable. This took a whole team of super strong, super patient family members, but we were so happy when it was finally done. Then we tightened all of the bolts and got ready to install the Eagle Blocks. Eagle Blocks just add a little bit of extra structure and spacing between the rafters, and it adds a really nice look. Next, we spread out the ceiling liner. This is the interior liner that you'll see from inside the yurt. And that was the end of day one. We were exhausted, but so excited we got this far. Just for good measure, we started taping the insulation for the roof just so we could get a head start on the next day. I've mentioned it already, but we had a huge crew of helpers. We could not have done it without them. It was so fun to sit in our yard at the end of day one and see what we'd all accomplished. Bright and early on day two, we moved the roof insulation inside and up through the hole to lay it out over the ceiling. It was breezy, so we had to get a little creative. Back in the category of extremely heavy, this roof material. This canvas weighed about 300 pounds and took a whole crew to get up there. But this canvas is so durable. It will last us for decades through any kind of weather. Finally, it was time to install the dome. We raised it up and fastened it on top. Then it was time for walls. We installed the wall insulation and then the wall outer shell, which we were able to just fasten and clip to the top and then zip up. Another cable around the perimeter at the bottom sealed everything nice and tight. It was a little scary, but then we had to cut the canvas to make room for the glass windows. Once we got that all stapled together and the windows installed, it was finally yeah. time to pop the champagne. Then we just sat and pinched ourselves. Honestly, I still can't believe that we built this. It's the most peaceful, wonderful place to be. I can't believe it's ours. Ooh.